There isn't much evidence here in the storage room in Harris County, Texas, in the case of David Temple. That's because there wasn't much physical evidence against him. The case started in January 1999. David Temple's wife, Belinda, was found shotgunned to death in the bedroom of their house in suburban Houston. It was a crime scene that shocked even experienced homicide detectives, and I know a lot of homicide detectives say that about crime scenes, but this one was particularly horrific. She had taken a 12-gauge shotgun blast uh, to the back of the head, so you can, you can imagine what the crime scene looked like. Um, the, uh, the story that David Temple told was that he was out uh, with their son, the couple's son, uh, shopping, and in fact there's surveillance video of him shopping at a local grocery store and at a Home Depot around the time that the uh, defense said the murders were, were committed. The evidence in this case is, is particularly interesting because the defense's case rests on the testimony of two guys who were young kids at the time of the murder and uh, thought that they heard a gunshot at around 4.30 in the afternoon. How did they know it was around 4.30 in the afternoon? Wait until you see how they, how they set the time of when they heard that gunshot. It's not uh, high police science. It's not forensic science. It's very basic. Oh, I remember. That's the point where, where we heard the shot. And the way they fixed the time is fascinating. This whole case is fascinating. It went to a, uh, a grand jury shortly after the murder in 1999. The grand jury didn't indict anybody. So the case went cold for all these years until um, the victim's parents uh, pushed this case uh, to a very aggressive uh, prosecutor, and uh, followers of 48 Hours will recognize this prosecutor. She is widely regarded as the toughest prosecutor in Harris County, uh, and she brought this case to trial. So it became the toughest prosecutor in Harris County versus one of the toughest defense attorneys in Harris County, Texas, and let me tell you, they don't like each other. So during this whole trial, in this case, there were sparks flying all over the place in the courtroom because these guys just didn't like each other, these two lawyers. So this is a particularly rich tale, and the, uh, the ending is a bit of a surprise. I think you'll, you'll, you may come away wondering who did it, uh, even though the jury came to a conclusion who did and who didn't do it. Um, and so we'll probably keep you guessing a little bit this week. 48 hours, Saturday night.